similar design. So, in that series, we are kind of put into much awaited abstract factory and factory methods. So, name is similar factory method and abstract factory. What are those? Let's consider I have written a code and inside the code I display graphics code. So GUI, graphics user interface I display. Now my program is supported on three OS, Unix, Windows and Mac. Now whenever I need to show the graphics, I need to create a button, I need to create a menu, I need to create dialog box. So, Wherever I need to uh, create a button, I write, if it is uh, Unix, okay, if some hash type Unix, then create motif button, motif menu and motif, well, this is well known example, motif dialog box. If it is Win32, then create a Win32 button, Win32 menu and Win32 dialog box. If it is Mac OS, then create Mac button, Mac menu and Mac dialog. So everywhere, wherever I am writing this code, everywhere I have to duplicate this nine line of code, everywhere. So just think that three times I am writing, means I am talking about supported only at three OS. If it is supported at nine OS, there are possibility it is supported at nine OS, then means roughly Okay, so nine times, nine times, not nine more lines. So instead of three lines, everywhere 27 line, 27 line, 27 line of code that I am writing. So is it really a justice in favor of a programmer, in favor of a code fixer, and in favor of a of a tester, code fixer, tester? and kind of uh, whoever it is, maintainer or whatsoever. So, can we make it simple now? Now, I have three uh, kind of functions. Create a button, it returns button class. And create a menu, return menu class. And create dialog box, create dialog box. Now, rather than calling create a motive button, create a motive menu, create a motive uh, dialog box, now I can have classes, Unix, okay, Unix, GUI class different, Win GUI class different, Mac GUI class different. Inside the three classes, I am writing a function called get button, get menu, or create button, create menu, create dialog. Every in all three classes, I am writing same function: create menu, create button, and create dialog box. Now in the code. I am writing if it is Unix, then instantiate uh, the Unix GUI class or I could have instantiated Unix GUI class at the beginning of the program only when it is running in Unix. So three classes are instantiated as per the need. So in the code, I am writing that if it is a, a Unix, then Unix GUI, whatever I have, suppose I call it Unix GUI, so Unix GUI is I Unix I Unix GUI is the instance of a class. I Unix GUI create button. I Unix GUI pointer create menu. I Unix GUI create dialog box. If it is Windows, then I Windows Win32 create okay arrow create button menu and dialog. So at least now the I don't need to call different fun, different function. Okay. So that thing I did. So now everywhere create a not create a motif button, motif menu, create a win32 button, win32 menu, not really. So that much relief. Now I have. So only thing is I just check if it is win32. Then now I won't check. Now slowly we are moving up. So can I do through kind of interface rather than I call uh, I, I is the instance of GUI Unix, I GUI Unix, I GUI Windows, I GUI Mac and then calling the function. 
can I have now a interface class? Okay, from the interface where the functions are create button, create menu, and create a, a dialog button, and from there I derive Unix GUI, Windows GUI, and Mac GUI. And in the interface class that is GUI, these are the factory methods. Uh, sorry, these are the template method. Okay, template method in the sense these are holes that needs to be filled by Unix GUI. So GUI is an interface class which has template methods, create menu, create button, create dialog box, and it returns it returns it returns widget point. Okay, so okay right now consider it returns button pointer menu pointer and the dialog box point but still relief how the relief is now from the gui interface class we have derived these three now wherever i need graphics okay so wherever i need uh, graphics at that moment i just call okay now at the beginning of the program so when main starts there i check the uh, os so if it is win32 okay so i say the is the instantiation of uh, the concrete class is i gui so i gui is a pointer of type gui i mean interface GUI, or i can say m gui m gui is uh, so i gui i'm sorry so gui GUI is the interface class. GUI is the interface class. From there, three GUI Windows, GUI Unix, and GUI Mac are derived. Now, GUI, I am kind of now uh, Unix GUI, Mac GUI, or Windows GUI, I am instantiating through GUI pointer. And at the beginning of the code only, and I am giving name it as iGUI, instance GUI, not interface GUI, instance GUI. Now, when program starts, in iGUI, the pointer is filled with the object of either Unix, Windows or Mac as per the where it is running. Now in the code where I was creating a create button, uh, create menu, create dialog, I say iGUI create button, iGUI create menu, create. So now if it is supported on 9 platform, then 27 line of code reduced to 3 line. Everywhere, I just need to call this is interface program. Okay, so rather than doing hash dev everywhere, now I am using interface. So I say iGUI, iGUI is an instance, Inst iGUI is a type of interface GUI, and this pointer points to the concrete instance of either Unix GUI, my GUI, or Windows GUI. Now I am saying iGUI create button, iGUI create menu, iGUI GUI create dialog box everywhere. That's it. Since guy, you, I, GUI is the pointer, but it points to an object of Unix, Mac, or Windows object, their functions are getting called. Okay. Now, the kind of uh, uh, life is pretty easy. Okay. Now, what is the problem now? Problem is that create button, returns button pointer, create menu, return menu pointer, create dialog box, create Little dialog box, but these pointers are different for Windows menu and Mac OS because they are platform specific. So in the now I can make that also polymorphic. So it is also kind of a, a dual polymorphic the way we discussed in Bridge and Builder. Now I can have a separate tree where I have a widget interface pointer, and from there we have derived a button menu and dialog box. Now create button, create menu and create dialog box in the GUI interface class returns widget point and widget is nothing but interface based class for the button menu and dialog box. So story is over. Now when my program starts in the main I check for the OS and against the GUI pointer I instantiate iGUI as an object that okay iGUI is a is a is a kind of object object pointer i can say gui pointer igui so igui is a type of gui interface class 
but it points to actual concrete like a new Unix GUI or Mac GUI or Windows GUI. Now, wherever I want to use, I call I GUI and then arrow, create button, create menu, and create dialog box. And it returns widget pointer. But be under the widget interface pointer, the actual object is available. So, widget, the widget class, the widget is an, another interface class. Now, it has all the uh, the common functions written template method like draw geometry means it dimension position and those kind of things. so whatever the i am getting so that is widget interface pointer based objects so even though it is a button object but it can conforms the widget interface class the methods the abstract the template method done this is abstract factory now the gui okay the gui class the actual gui class that is interface so that is no abstract factory a factory like unix gui is a factory which creates button menu and dialog box unix gui which derives from or at the, we start with the with the, at the beginning at the beginning we had a, a kind of create button create a motive button create a, a motive menu create a motive uh, dialog box these are factory they create button menu and dialog box these are factory okay now if i push all these in a class and i call it uh, a unix gui windows gui mac gui and then call inside that create button so that become a factory class okay inside the factory class we have factory factory methods kind of now factory class they are deriving from a interface interface we also call in object oriented programming as abstract so the actual factory class is unix gui windows gui mac gui but since they derive from an abstract class, so that is also a factory, that is abstract factory. So this is concept of abstract factory. When factory methods get encapsulated into a class, that become factory class. And then factory method means create of create button, create menu, create a dialog box. When they get encapsulated into a class, that class become factory class. If there are many factory class and they uh, kind of confirms the interface, okay, means they derive from another interface class. Since that is interface, we call it abstract. Since factory derive from an abstract class, abstract class is called abstract factory. Now abstract factory become behave like an interface, and that interface uh, we declare in the main, and that we instantiate the actual factory class depending upon the OS. Now, wherever I need button menu and dialog box against the interface factory uh, pointer, I just keep calling. I don't bother because the object it carries is the actual, actual factory class object. Whatever it returns widget pointer that itself is a, is a, is an abstract. Okay. It's itself is an interface from there the button and uh, menu and dialog box they override they derive and they conform to the template method what widget provides so this is a story of abstract factory factory all factories we derive from an abstract class or interface class through interface class pointer we start writing the code and behind the abstract pointer we have the actual concrete class that concrete class derived from the interface and then it provides those factory factory methods okay now we'll talk about factory methods so fact, abstract factory we talk so they look similar but they are different now consider a, a case where i have c code i have c plus plus inside the c because motive library is a c plus plus means button if i create a button it returns a c++ object if i create a kind of uh, uh, 
uh, uh, menu, it's a C++ object. If I create dialog box, it is a C++ object. Suppose I want, but the difference between C++ and C, both are, means classes are nothing but a structure only in C++. Both are same, exactly same. Only the, by default, uh, it is private. Otherwise, in the structure by default, uh, things are public. Otherwise, there is no difference. Okay, object layout may differ, but as far as functions are concerned, methods are concerned, if I have a class pointer and from class pointer, I start calling only method, not the attribute, then C can also call C++ object because C++ objects are structures only. So if I pass C++ pointer somehow to C code and then C code can call the functions. Okay. Now, I have, suppose my code is not written in multi OS, single OS, Unix code, pure. Now, I call create motif button, okay. Now, I want motif button in C code. I have C++, C++ library program and C is the application code. In C code, I want a button uh, structure instantiated. I would use only a member, member function, not the member, member function. So, it's all right. So generally, in, uh, uh, we slowly will go to interfaces, but this is all right. Means that if uh, if there is no, or I consider a class which has no attribute at all, only functions. Okay, then C can call. C has the structure pointer. Inside that function pointers are there. It can call. Okay, now I can create. So how I can create? Okay, C C cannot call C plus plus new. And those kind, it does the malloc and those kind. So in new it cannot call. So C code, C plus plus code. In between, in between. So inside the C plus plus library, I have C plus plus code, and inside the C plus plus code, at the front I provide a function like create button, create menu, create dialog. C code it means I can write uh, through kind of uh, uh, through the preprocessor as C API. Or C declare API whatsoever. Okay, name mangling and those will happen. And then C C program C library inside C library C codes are there. There we have C interface. C interface is facing the C code. C code is calling C interface that is available in C Those are factory methods. So C interface is is Create create GUI. Create GUI. Simple. Create GUI. Inside the argument I pass as a string button. Menu. Double quote button, double quote menu, double quote dialog box. So since it is a C API inside C library, C application can call. If C application calls it, then inside it checks the argument if it is button, if it is menu, or if it is dialog box the function parameter then please is, then it would do the actual new okay if it is pure c then it can it can kind of uh, do some kind of hook and crook okay and then it would uh, it would get the c plus plus object and those objects it would return it receives button menu and dialog box pointers c code and then it can start using so factory method Factory method, a method which create objects, a method which behave like a factory, a method which behave like a template and it would be realized in derived classes, template method, a method which returns a new object is a factory, so factory method. Now the C function inside the C++ library which like create object is a function, okay, create a create GUI object is a function inside C++ which returns the C++ classes to the C side. Now C++ the class object it is string which has only uh, user defined function. So it start calling button. So this is a abstract at core level. This is a factory method at core level. Now we can do more. If we have done this much then we can do more. Now, in the C++ side, I have kind of uh, a C, uh, we have C, 
uh, factory method. Now we can have factory method. Now we can have a full fledged factory class. Okay. Now suppose I have a class in C plus plus side written as shape. From the shape, I derive button, menu, or widget. There is a class called widget. The way what you use in abstract factory. So there is a class called widget. From the widget, I derive button, uh, menu, and dialog box. Okay, now widget class provides a static function called create create uh, create widget. That's it. It takes parameter as a string. If you pass a string as string as a kind of uh, a menu button or a dialog box, it would create. So I have a widget class. From the widget class, I derive button. I derive menu. I derive a dialog box. And widget has a static function called create widget. So that is factory method now. Okay, it takes parameter a string parameter based upon the string. It instantiates the the any of the derived class. So it knows the derived. That is the idea. Okay, generally parent class, base class, they do not know the derived class. But in factory method, the parent class, the base class knows the derived class. When it knows the derived class. Against each call, again the call create widget. Since the parameter can be integer or a string whatsoever, now it does some checking and then it does the new, and then it returns. This is one part. Now this class cannot be instantiated in C type of discussion, but it can be done through C API. So C API, if I say create object, okay, then internally it instanti it has instantiated a widget widget class. So widget is behaving like a A factory class inside that I have factory method as create object, and then so the C API inside the C library earlier which was behaving as a factory method now also it is behaving like a factory method on the C side. C side is calling create object, so that is a global C function inside the C plus plus library. So inside that uh, uh, function we have instantiated widget class. So inside the widget class, it calls the create actual create object function. Now widget class provides all the kind of uh, template methods also: draw, resize, position, uh, background color, background image, and all the things. What these button menu and dialog box anyway they support. So the widget class is a kind of a class which has factory method at create object and It has template methods as a, uh, as a resize and place a, uh, good place a image background and so many draw and these 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 uh, button menu and dialog box they would realize those functions. Now C calls the C API. C API has the instantiated uh, factory class. So from there it starts calling the factory method that is the create object. It returns itself as widget pointer, but since widget pointer, the interface pointer through which button and menu and uh, and dialog box can be called, so it works. Okay, so C API, C application, C plus plus library inside C plus plus library, we have C API function. C API function instantiate factory class object. Factory class object is nothing but widget pointer. Inside, I have a factory method called create object, and from the factory class, we have all the derived classes called button, menu, and dialog box. And inside the uh, widget class, we have template methods create button, create uh, template methods as draw, resize, whatever, uh, draw background, draw, 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 uh, draw background image, whatsoever. Now from C, it calls C API. Saying create menu inside that it has a, a factory class. So again the factory class it calls the factory method that we create object passing the same argument and there the the base class knows about all the derived classes. So it instantiates the one of them and returns through itself pointer only widget pointer. So widget pointer is passed to the C API and C C API is receiving widget pointer that is a abstract class. So, so the architecture of C and C plus plus when it comes to a structure where only user defined functions are there, 
so it can start calling the function and then graphx runs so this is abstract factory where it is typically used where we have kind of scenario where we have two languages and data structures are some primarily they like uh, like we talked about uh, interface data structures so if interface data structures are, can be shared and but the concrete objects cannot be shared but it can work through interface pointers so in those scenario factory method we use and but i think this is a homework now can we enhance this factory method to abstract fact we talked only about that is code is running only on unix so can we make this factory class so factory class we widget pointer we made as a factory class can we make it as abstract factory class also where or can the widget pointer start behaving like an abstract factory where it has factory method and create object if that is the case then how we will reorganize uh, its derived classes so that we can fit in the unix widget and mac widget windows widget and then all widgets should come together the way we talked in the abstract method this is a kind of homework people can reply with their architecture so uh, i believe it should be doable that how we can do abstract factory that is supported on various operating system and then factory method which is supported on various languages both we combine together then how would be the hybrid design okay so that is so both abstract factory and factory method that deal with creation of object so they both reside in creational design so that is the scenario but this is the elegance of uh, interface programming where we reduce not only reduce line of the code we reduce the complexity then where complexity is going if someone is reducing the complexity overnight then someone is bearing the complexity on its own shoulder so that complexity is going to the c++ object layout so that is going to the compiler where it maintains v table and so many data structure to carry this much complexity but still since they are anyway there to carry the responsibility then why don't why can't we put this responsibility to them because they are there it's not that they are writing for us so they are there if that is the scenario then we can use the ready made the complexity burden burden carrying people they are available in c++ compiler so our code is lightweight clean smooth and workable fixable maintainable testable designable everything so please feel free come ahead and use factory method abstract factory and propose something that is factory method and abstract factory both please use it